Good morning, Hoover Elementary. Dr. G here on Hawk TV, wishing you all a very happy Thursday. It's Thursday. It's almost Friday. And a big playoff game is coming up soon for the Eagles. Woo! At this time, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Dun, dun, dun. How's everybody doing? Woo! Good to see you. Today is Thursday. It's January 19th. It's day four, right? Day four. Wow. And we just keep having great days after great days after great days here at Hoover Elementary. What an amazing place. So I'm just minding my own business and I see Mrs. Wirt, our school nurse. She says, Dr. G, I need a pride sticker, not for a student, but for Mrs. Brooks, who's our reading specialist. She said that, you know, Mrs. Wirt is new to our school and she felt that Mrs. Brooks really, really went out of her way to make her feel included. And that's one of our things in pride, right? P-R-I, include. So we got a nice picture there. Thank you, Ms. Brooks, for making Ms. Wirt feel welcome and feel included. And thank you, Ms. Wirt, for thinking of giving a pride sticker to a staff member. That is awesome. I love it. And we've got some uh, third graders. I think we have pictures there from Ms. Kane's class. Um, they're going to try. Get this. I mean, this is like next generation stuff here. Next generation science standards. They are going to try and grow some lettuce without any dirt, without any soil. They're telling me that there's something called hydroponic gardening. I'm going to have to look that one up. But hydroponic gardening, somehow they think that they're going to take these seeds and with no dirt, no soil, they're going to try and grow some lettuce. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. We want reports from our third grade uh, classes. We'll take pictures to see if they truly can grow anything. All right. What else is going on? So dun, 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 we've got some I ready champions of the week for last week Brrr, for kindergarten for math. It's Bobrick's class, Lee's, Goodwin's and Barber's. Good job Brrr, for reading. It's Goodwin and Barber. That means Goodwin and Barber are double winners for reading and math. Great job. Brrr, for first grade, we've got math and reading. Uh, for math, it's Walter, Lee, and Minerva. For reading, it's Dashi and Lee. Good job. Brrr, for second grade, for math, it's Ms. Landol Gilly and Mr. McGee and Ms. Minerva and Ms. Lee. Four-way, one, two, three, four-way tie. That's amazing. And then for reading, Rafferty and McGee. Great job. For third grade, we've got math, Nesbitt and McGee, and reading, Gorman and Lawrence. Brr. For fourth grade, we've got math, scale, and reading, O'Boyle. Congratulations to our iReady champions. I know we've got a lot of folks who are doing some amazing things with iReady. I know we got some folks who are doing some amazing things with Dibbles and keep up the good work. I'm really proud of you all. I've been in a lot of classrooms and I got to tell you, I'm starting to have some questions, okay? Because I don't know about you guys, but some of the math that we're teaching folks is different than when I went to elementary school. Don't tell anybody, but it's, it's just different. So like I'm going into classrooms and I'm hearing kids talk about how they have these different strategies, how they're reading word problems. And like, they're not sure at first whether they're going to add or they're going to subtract, but somehow they figure it out. And sometimes they use strategies like number bonds. To be honest, I don't know what a number bond is. Sometimes they're using the number line. I think I know what a number line is, but I'm not sure how they would use that for an addition or subtraction problem. And sometimes they're drawing pictures. So I guess what I'm saying is, I need to learn more about this stuff. If you're somebody who thinks you know how to solve a word problem and know whether to add or subtract or multiply or divide, 
we want to hear from you. We would love for you to concisely share with us how you can tell whether to add or subtract, multiply or divide or whatever. And if you're somebody who knows anything about number bonds and you have a marker board or something and you're going to explain it to all of us, I'd love to see you explain it and we could put it on Hawk TV. If you know anything about a number line or any other math strategies, I want to learn more about math. And I think that we should share through the power of Hawk TV all of these cool math strategies that we use. And, you know, sometimes like, you know, Dr. McGee will try and explain something to me and I just won't get it. And then Miss Ring explains it to me and I'm like, oh, now I get it. So sometimes like maybe your teacher will try and explain something to you. You might not get it, but there might be another kid here who knows something about number bonds or math or addition strategies and maybe they could help us. Okay. So, okay. Uh, also a little uh, programming note there. Did you see um, the the music man is the high school musical. You can get your tickets. I think it's uh, early February. I look at the, the picture on the thing that I think it's like February 1st around there, but we actually have a cast member from Hoover elementary in Miss scales class who is going to uh, be in the music man. So that would be cool. It'd be great if you love musicals, if you love the trombone. 76 trombones played in the big parade. It's amazing. It's a great show. I love it. Um, maybe we could even see if um, there's a student in Miss Scales class who'd like to come on Hawk TV, tell us about it a little bit and maybe help us make a little advertisement. We'd love that. We'd love to see some advertisements from some students about uh, how to be respectful, responsible, and safe how to um, earn a pride sticker, uh, especially that include part. Um, I heard about a little problem the other day in the cafeteria, and I am so glad that we have kids who are reading, and apparently a lot of kids are reading um, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And if you read that book, I don't want to give the whole thing away, but if you read that book, there are some kids who are not really Hoover Hawks. They're not really being nice. They're not being respectful, responsible, or safe. And they kind of play this game called cheese touch. And when they play that game, they're really trying to make some kids feel like they're different or make those kids feel like they're not welcome or they're not included. Well, as I said, Mrs. Wirt felt included. So sh she wanted to make sure Mrs. Brooks knew that. So we're not going to play cheese touch. We're not going to play anything like that. We're not going to play anything in the cafeteria or at recess that makes anybody feel excluded or, or different, okay? Because it's okay to be different and we're all Hoover Hawks and all of us need to um, you know, work together. And if we all work together, we can have the best school year ever. Have a great day, everybody. And um, somebody told me that there might be a football game uh, Saturday night. Wow, that would be cool. And uh, I think some of Miss McKenna's students uh, were doing a spelling lesson the other day. They didn't know how to spell Eagles. Well, it's simple. E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles, go Eagles. Tomorrow's Friday. I think originally we said it's wear your favorite color day. You can still do that. I'm going to be wearing green. If for some reason you want to wear blue or for some reason you want to wear something else, that's fine. But I'm going to be wearing green. Have a great day, everybody.